No. <laughs> no. Stop. Why are you Stop. Me? Huh? Are you I'm not. I'm not filming you. You just look so good in this afternoon light. I know, right? Holy about crap. To be, about to be on. Um, oh my on. god. Why do you look like a mermaid right now? Yeah. What? Where's your tail go? I don't believe it. I don't believe those are your natural legs. Someone right photoshop there. a tail My tail's on. tail's right there. Where, right here? Oh, you don't want this tail. Nah, this tail ain't gonna go swimming. <laughs> this tail is good for dusting, that's it. <laughs> What, what is good, Mama Squad? And welcome, welcome back, back to our channel. It is our official married night routine. It is what? What time is it? It is 5:30. We gotta get be, be getting ready for bed pretty soon. If you wanna be exact, y'all, we've been starting to go to bed at 7 p.m. And I know it might sound crazy, and y'all are like, "What the heck? What do you mean 7?" I'm just kidding. Who goes to bed at 7 p.m.? Some people do. Y'all, comment night shift. down below. I'm gonna ask you one thing. Or morning shift. One thing from everyone watching this right now. Stay tuned, watch this whole video through, like the video, and comment down below what time you go to bed because I'm actually really curious. One of my buddies goes to bed at 8.30 p.m. Hell no. Oh, wow, that's early. 8.30, imagine that. Imagine going to bed at 8.30. I mean, I'm not hating on it. If y'all y'all go to bed at six, like, yeah, you do you. Maybe they gotta get up at like 1 a.m. to go to work. Yeah. But y'all, this is the absolute best time of the day. This is officially the start of our morning routine. Start the countdown, let's go. Oh, I did? Yeah. God, dude, uh, we can't do it. See, this is why we uh, this is why we film videos in the morning. This is why we film videos in the day. Because I'm flustered right now. I don't even know what I'm saying right now. What is life? Um, Are these words actually real? This is am I AI generated right now? <laughs> Real talk y'all, this is the absolute best time of the day. I don't know if y'all can tell, but the vibes in this house are actually immaculate. Also, comment down below if you're a night owl or a morning person. I am a night owl, I like the nighttime. You, I I'm, feel I'm, like I'm both. you're both. I'm both. I've literally like been waking up at 7.50 a.m. I can't wake up that early. It's a weird time, I know, but I've been waking up at that, I don't know why. I just love waking up early now. Yeah, and I wake up at like 9 o'clock and I smell onions and That's breakfast from being cooked. Eggs and I, I've been on a diet, so I cook like eggs and onions and green pepper. I need to start getting on his diet. No. Nah, for sure. I've been losing a lot. I actually, wait, I'm just gonna keep a secret before we actually do our first step to the night routine. I, for the first time today, and I've told nobody, I haven't even told Snapchat or anything, I have weighed, no clothes on, 199 pounds today. Present today. And so just to give y'all a reference, almost three weeks ago, I was 113 at night. Stop saying 113. You were 213. Oh, 213. I'm he sorry. Does it every okay, okay. Time. It hurts me. I was 213. Oh. Today I was 199. Yeah. Right now I'm probably 202 because I ate and stuff today. But mm -hmm. anyways, regardless, let's get on with this night routine. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for tuning in. If you're new, make sure to hit that subscribe button. We're on the road to five million subscribers on YouTube. Let's get it and let's start it. First night routine of a married life couple. And we're starting it off wrong because I don't even have my ring on. Yeah. <laughs> First step to our married night routine, and I fixed it because I did put my ring on, don't worry, yeah. is dinner. And that's probably the best stuff because Which, we get to eat. Typically, I'm not usually right here when this happens. <laughs> we're already, um, but today, today we're okay, gonna make an exception. Okay, but I will say this. We typically take off turns. Like, he's very good at cooking like chicken. Okay, since we're on a diet, Yo, you I have been cooking because you wanna <laughs> make it a certain way. You know that. I hope y'all screen recorded that we take turns. Because we did until you started dieting. Okay. We, we did, we did, yes. we did, we did. And you make it a certain way. And I'm also not a cook. Like, I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I don't like to cook chicken because mm -hmm. I'm very, very scared of cooking chicken. Right. So I let him cook it and that's what basically been, we've been eating. That's okay. I mean, I definitely do more cooking, but you, you see the video title. This is a married yeah, but night you routine. See, did you see what I you did? make sacrifices because also, we're married. Last and night, if Mariah don't wanna cook, you know on. who's gonna have to cook? The hubby. Last night, Bill was out getting his hair cut and I did a deep clean. I There was dishes all the way to the sink because Bill has been cooking breakfast and typically he likes to clean the dishes and put them back, but he didn't. He let the dishes pile up. They did pile up. So I took the initiative to do all the dishes. I even cleaned the dishes he left on the stove. I cleaned the whole stove. I windexed the whole counters. I also vacuumed the house. I picked up around the house. Not gonna and lie, I cleaned the toilet. 
She, yeah, keep, and keep continue. Could, she did so, I came in the house just look different. I know. That's how you know it's clean, or because it looked different. But I wanted to do my wife duties and surprise him and, uh, you know, have the house look nice because, you know, he does do a lot of things like cooking and stuff for me, so I appreciate that. So, I feel Can like it's best. we do broccoli best. and chicken? Yeah. Broccoli and chicken? Mm -hmm. and, then and rice. Probably don't need green pepper, right? No. No, but white rice, so 100%. But I wanted to surprise him to a clean house. I should have honestly done the night routine last night and showed you guys my routine and showed you guys how I clean the house. But yeah. yeah but that's like an afternoon routine. It was like, an who, afternoon. I don't think we've ever, like who even does afternoon routine? They're so overrated. It was in the afternoon. It's like 2 o'clock. It's funny because it's a fine line. I feel like your morning routine always gets you to the afternoon, but like the afternoon only lasts until what, from like 12 to 4? Like what do you do in between that? You work or you film? Or you know, like. Well, I'll let you um show them how you cook your diet dinner. Diet dinner. Yeah. I mean, it's not really a diet dinner, but. Okay, skinny girl, fat-free, sugar-free dressing, balsamic. Woo! Low sodium, so good. And then we even got it in poppy seed. As you're watching this video, you're gonna see a lot of things different that we have adapted into our schedule. This is nothing like any of our other night routines. And if you are a fan of these videos of our videos in general. Thank y'all for being here so much for watching, but this one's definitely gonna be different and I cannot wait to show y'all my teeth hygiene routine. Oh yeah. Because I, I have changed up the way that some things Dude, happen in the bathroom. Know when you bring out oh my God. Flies I've never been more scared than I am now. What's going on? <laughs> oh, oh, oh crap. Did the blinds. God damn, I just, she just, oh no. Oh, I'm sorry, Fly. I'm sorry, Fly. It's just a grown up larva, Mariah, come on. Like, look at, look at that over there. Holy, okay, is it, is it gone? Is it okay? Okay, no flies were hurt in the making of this video. This is all CGI. This is, not, this, none of, nothing you see is real right now. <laughs> Alright y'all, this is where it's gonna get a little weird. You might have never seen this, you might have never known this trick, but I am gonna save y'all so much time if you do your chicken this way. First of all, I don't really like, okay, we gotta take this off for now. Let's put this in the ring holder. Yeah, and you know you were- It's not an ashtray. That's what my grandma it's got It's a me. ring holder. And you were gonna actually put it in the freaking bat. I don't even know where you were putting it. You put it somewhere and it wasn't supposed to be there. Whatever. And look okay. who's using it. So I've been doing this lately. First of all, cooking chicken in smaller uh, sizes because it cooks faster and you can maintain it better. Second of all, I know, it's, <gasps> it might seem weird. It might seem weird. So you just cut them into little pieces. Look at this. How easy. Yeah, How easy. easy. Look at this. Boom, bite size piece. Boom, bite size piece. Don't obviously do this. I'm not recommending you do this because I'm a trained professional, but you know, if you got common sense and you're not gonna cut yourself with scissors, I would definitely um, explore with a parental guardian nearby. Just be safe. Oh, it's actually smart. Now I might start doing it like that. Oops. Not a bad Look idea. That. Cause then, first of all, you're saving time, and you don't have to like worry about. You don't have to get a cutting board out. Cutting board, any of that. Look at, it, I'm just hanging this over and cutting it. And honestly, these scissors we've had for years, like since our apartment, I think. Really? Maybe. Oh yeah. Oh no, our, our apartment one's broke, but these definitely been like three years. They're super dull, and they still cut through raw chicken, mm. like it's butter. I should do a freaking <laughs> ad. Yeah, you should. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, how much you want? Mm. A lot more? A little bit more. It's good. Okay. Got that on the menu. We also got our white rice, which I already seasoned up a little bit. I'm telling y'all, this rice maker is it's game changing. And it doesn't even have to be this brand. Like, it could be any, I'm just saying a, a rice maker in general is uh, game changing. So, how much rice you want? You know I like my rice, but that's good. 
Now for the last and final step, we got the Are broccoli. You not I am. I actually okay. So here's the deal. I ate, ate a, a late, late lunch. lunch. Okay. So what I'm gonna do? I literally had a late lunch. So I had a lunch at five. It's currently 5:59. So I'm probably wait till like 7:30 and then I'm gonna eat all this. Mm -hmm. But I'm plating it up because Mariah, I know, is hungry it's and taste, she wants it. So we're gonna film her reaction to taste test. Don't you love night routines? Because every night you get pampered, Mariah. Look at this. You got a whole meal. Look at how healthy that looks too. Is it cooked? <laughs> Your face. Yeah, I was asking. Does it taste cooked? Hopefully. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah, it tastes good. Do you like it? Why is your face not like glowing? Like you just. It's like boring. Like it tastes good, but it's like boring, you know? Do you want to know what you need? You need a sauce. How about some poppy seed? I do agree. Chicken is boring, and I did put a lot of seasoning on this, so it sucks that it's still, you know, it's better than plain, plain chicken. Yeah, you know? I know the broccoli's Here. gonna be good. Let's do a little taste test. Mm, broccoli's always good. Try that. I'm sure it's gonna be a hundred times better with that. I just hope you like the sauce. I can dip it. You just pour it. Do you want, I mean, honestly, you're not like on a strict, like do you want like, you do like ketchup or ranch, ranch? No. no? Just give me poppy seed. <laughs> There's also balsamic, do you want to try balsamic? No, I'll do poppy seed. Okay, I think this is, I think I, yeah, I only bought two. You never probably had this kind of sauce though, right? That's why you're like iffy. Mm -hmm. It tastes good though. Sorry, my eye also keeps twitching, it's like, <laughs> it's so annoying. <laughs> so this closes out the first part of our morning routine. We're going, or, oh my gosh. I am so bad. I'm so out of it. Night routine, y'all. Night routine. Mom, stop. Remind me. Right. Let's all say it together. Ready? Night, Night routine. routine. Okay. I got it in my head. I'm not gonna mess up anymore. It is time for my nightly routine with my skin. Typically, I do this at around six through eight o'clock at night, just because by this time I'm ready to get my makeup off or even just get the oil and debris off. And if I know I'm not doing anything, I'll do it um, at this time. But say like I knew I was going out, I wouldn't probably wash my face until like I got back home. Just because if I go out again and I already wash my face, all that like stuff's gonna get back on my face. So I'm gonna take you guys through my skincare routine. I know so many of you guys are wondering what I use. So I am going to give that to you and show you guys my new routine. So first and foremost, I pull my hair back just because I don't want my hair getting wet. Take my contacts out. And then before you wash your face, you always, 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 always wanna wash your hands because if you don't, all that nastiness you're putting back on your face. Mm -mm. So as you guys know, I struggled really bad with my acne. And to be completely honest with you, the way it happened should have never happened. I'm not gonna fully go into it. I've talked about it before on like Snapchat and stuff, but I was put on products and I was put on different things that made my skin react in the ways it never should have gotten to. And now I'm paying the price of scarring that should never happened. I got my acne extracted and honestly, to the degree that it was, I should have never got those acnes extracted like that. But it is what it is, it's a learning experience. So right now I'm in the process of healing my acne, which I am getting my microneedling sessions done right now because my skin is finally at a point where I don't have a lot of breakouts. I did just get a few pop-ups because of the microneedling and I wasn't using my active ingredients. So like obviously there's gonna be pop-ups, but like I said, my acne is so calmed down. The only thing I have is scarring, but even the scarring is going down. And I just got microneedling done like a couple days ago, so my skin's dry. And it takes like a month to really see like all the scarring going down. But the first thing that I use, I always double cleanse. I go in with this Mandelic Face Reality face wash. So I'll typically do this twice. So the first, you get all the nasties off, all your makeup off. You, I even use this when I have makeup on and I do have a little bit of makeup on. So I use this to kind of get my makeup off. I really just dive in for at least a minute and I just wash my face. Just make sure I get all of that makeup off and I scrub it off. And you always wanna double cleanse at night. Like that's very, 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 very key because the first rinsing is just getting all the oils. The second is when you actually are cleaning your face. That's like the biggest tip that I've learned. So always double cleanse. Even if you don't have makeup on, just getting off that oil or debris, or even if you put moisturizer on in the morning, which you should be putting moisturizer on, 
You're just getting all of that off your skin. So then I go in with my Clean Skin Club towels. These are disposable towels. Instead of using these that holds nasties on there, I use this and get all the mascara off my eye. And then I get all the makeup off. I know in here in this video, I and I hate the way it looks on our videos. Like I feel like my scarring looks so bad. It looks like my face is bad, but it's not. Like my skin is so like does not look like this um in real life like this is all scarring but like everything is like flat like this is all flat it might look like it's not but it is like this scarring is not as red as it is what you see over camera the light acne that popped up was right here and here and right here and then i have one on my lip that's so freaking annoying I'm, honestly i know i'm not supposed to pop it but this one hurts so bad that i kind of want to pop it and get it off because it's like that the pressure but i'm gonna go ahead and double cleanse my skin and then i'll show you what i do next so after that i then go in with my eight percent mandelic serum So my skin is like extra dry, so I really just want to moisturize it and make it good. So I am just going to be spot treating any pop-up acne. Typically, I'll apply a very thin layer of this acne med just to prevent future breakouts, which is why I have these pop-ups. But I'm going to put one right here, just spot treat it, just put a little bit there. I have one on my chin, I'm going to put one there. We're just gonna put it in areas that are breaking out. I just wanna put a little bit here, maybe a little bit here. This is my spots of breakouts. But we're just spot treating. So yeah, that is my skincare routine. I do that every night. Pretty much the same routine in the morning, except I don't use acne med. Acne med is only meant to be used at night. And now we're gonna go put on some comfy pajamas. Before y'all come for me, yes, I am wearing Christmas pajamas, but it's comfy, it's warm and cozy. And now we're gonna go play some Fortnite. Bill's gonna game. Um, this is what we do every night. We typically game for a couple hours and then we come to bed and we watch our show and we relax, do our night routine by brushing our teeth and everything. But yeah, that is what we do. And I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of our like gaming setup and stuff like that. Here's our little gaming setup. Bill is on this side. I am on this side. I'm also getting a PC to put right here. So I am really excited. But now, like I said, we typically just game and relax and chill for a couple hours. And then we do other things before bringing you guys along with us. But right now, it is gaming time. We're gonna relax, take it easy, and Woo! play some games. We're done gaming for the night. It is currently nighttime. As you can see out our window, you can't see anything, which means it's, it's literally blackout. Now is for the second half. That was like the first half. I feel like the first half of our night routine is always like daytime and then like now it's like the half of like the nighttime. Yeah. So Which for the past know? seven years of our life, no, I'm just kidding, not seven years. When did you start drinking Stanley's? Like probably. Maybe when we moved down here, I got a. Uh, you really weren't into this. Stanley's. Stanley's weren't big until Stanley. like what, two years ago? I didn't have a Stanley, but I had that blue cup. Stanley's weren't even big till like two years ago or no, a year and a half. But I had that blue cup. Oh, okay. you had that ugly blue one though. Yeah, so I take her Stanley every night. This is legit. And this is like not even like, you know how like you make all those TikToks and we've made a TikTok also of the people that fill up their girl's water. Well, this is but legit. Like we genuinely do this. Like I'm not doing this at all out of people just doing it in general. Like I genuinely take her water every night and I fill it up. And it's just funny to say because like I wanted to reiterate, I do this even if it wasn't a trend. No. Yeah, because I feel like it's like a lot of guys do this so a lot of you can relate But I always get water at the end of the night too Like I got my Stanley and especially since I've been on a diet I've been trying to drink a gallon of water Which is basically three Stanleys a day and I take her Stanley and I fill it up now You can see these are the vibes in our house at night our house is never dark But it is very dim right now We got the cabinet lights up here and then we got our dope ass accent wall TV lights And it honestly is a vibe in the house like tell me right now if y'all weren't in the house Okay, I didn't put the lid on the Stanley and it just spilled everywhere. <sighs> I took my lid off. I took my lid off the Stanley and I accidentally spilled it everywhere. Damn it! <laughs> it's 
scar. What the heck? Okay, this is gonna this is gonna be a minute to clean up. Back in a second. <laughs> I don't know what step we're on, but this is gonna be the hygiene part of the video. Second to last step. Actually, third to last. I feel like the last step is just going to bed, right? Yeah, my energy is like. I know, I'm getting there, literally. I'm so tired. What time is it right now? It's 11.30 at night. Y'all, I'm not even capping. 11.30. Says it on my watch, right there. And it's 79 degrees now, pretty cool. So, I know I wanted to show y'all my night routine. I've been taking it really serious for some reason. Like, I just got a wave of wanting to better my teeth hygiene at night. So, I start with my regular toothbrush, do a quick clean, and that's what I'm gonna do right now. Now, a lot of people only do that step. Like, they only run through their teeth. They don't even, like, clean their teeth for two minutes as they should. But I run through my teeth, make sure I get all the main crap and food off. Then, I'm gonna go in with a floss and floss every single tooth, so. And I'm not gonna lie, y'all need to start flossing. If you don't floss, I'm telling you, ever since I started flossing, every single time I floss, I always find something in my teeth, even after I brush. Mariah, yeah, yeah, that would have been in your teeth overnight. Yeah. Think about it, rotting away overnight. Uh-huh, literally every tooth, like you'll almost find something. Last part of my uh, teeth routine is I actually been into this tongue scraper. I know a lot of you guys might not know what a tongue scraper is, but basically it just scrapes your tongue and you don't realize like how much gunk you have on your tongue. So after I'm done brushing my teeth, the second time, but like basically the first time, like the full time, I'll scrape my tongue like this super quick and then I will rinse my mouth. I've been using this mouthwash and I'll rinse my mouth out for two minutes. It's supposed to whiten your teeth, but it gives you fresh breath and it really just finishes your whole mouth. Oh my gosh, I, you have no idea. Like y'all, brushing your teeth and then jumping in bed oh. is the best feeling ever. It is. Oh, I just gotta turn the lights off now. We're mm. gonna watch our show, relax and go to bed with clean teeth. But how on a scale of like one to 10, how does my mouth smell? Good. <laughs> Yo, it looks so ugly right We now. did the kiss test. On a scale of one to 10? 10. A little wet. It's always a 10. Well, I just and I before rinse my, my mouth off. But put the Mighty Patch on. Oh, by the way, I got a haircut and not only did I get the sides cut, but I got my front cut shorter. Did y'all like it? I think I look younger. And I've been losing weight, so I feel like I look younger too. Mm -hmm. But this has been our night routine, y'all. I hope you liked it. Yeah. We're married, as you can see. Last part of my night routine is taking all the bling off. So I'm gonna put my, my Apple Watch on the off. charger. And yeah, the house is locked. Alarms on. But now we've been watching what Love Island. Yes. Is that was called. So we've been watching Love Island. That's what we're watching right now. We're on season four. Four. And uh, it's awesome, US so we definitely suggest it. This is our night routine. We usually end out the night watching Love Island until, mm -hmm. what, 11.50? Usually 12. 12. 12, yeah. On um, weekdays, but since yeah. it's the weekend. Oh, we'll be up to one, yeah. two. Two, three, <laughs> We'll see, four, we'll see how it goes, five, we'll see how it goes, six, yeah. Seven, I'll pull an all-nighter. I might have to just stay up the whole night and stay no, up tomorrow. No, I could not. Let's just stay up. No. And never go to bed tonight. No. Let's just binge the whole season. I can't. Come on. No. That'd be fun. No. Come on. No. But we love you guys. What a grandma. No, stop. I know I look ugly. How is that me calling you ugly, you bro? You say I look like a grandma. That's that like is not me calling you ugly. That That's is not literally... a compliment. I don't want to look old. I didn't say you look like a grandma. I said you act like a grandma. And that was just a joke. I don't even think you act like a grandma. If I act like a grandma, I'd be in bed by 8 o'clock, 10 o'clock. <laughs> I said 2 in the morning. Okay, so you're an hour and 43 I'm going to be the lit grandma. <laughs> you're going to be the lit... Okay, so... Yeah. All right. We love you guys. I hope you enjoyed our night routine. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. This is our first ever married night routine. Woo -woo. It is a little different. You can see, I feel like we definitely matured some of our night routine steps in different ways. What are you doing right now? I am on, I'm plotting something. You're plotting something. Yeah. Better be for my birthday because my birthday does come up May 27th, y'all. Right, Don't forget it. For May 27th is my birthday. Yeah, I turned 24. Shared to the Marvel family about someone possibly moving down here. We can't, don't tell me yet. Nobody knows. We have to make a YouTube video on that. 
We should make a YouTube video about it. We should make a dedicated YouTube video on it. Yeah, we should. Oh my God, y'all are gonna also, you're gonna, you're gonna, freak love out. It. you're gonna love this. Yeah. We gotta end this out before we say too much. All right, thank you all so much for watching this video. Stay hyped, have a good night. We are gonna go to bed, watch this episode, and then who knows what else is in for the night. But, <laughs> but thank you all so much for twitching. watching, for real. We thinking. will see you in the next video. <laughs> but until then, peace, peace. Love, love you guys. You guys.